How you doing guys, Arthur Rubinov here at NYC Barbershop Museum. For the past few weeks, uh, I've been trying how to do this the right way. And uh, today I'm here to educate not only the barbers, but I wanna educate the customers, the consumers that come to the barbershop, come to the salons, nail salons. And a lot of you know, and a lot of you don't know, that barbers do transmit diseases. Some of the barbers will hate me for this right now. Some of the barbers will love me for this. But we're not gonna mention no names, nor barbershop around the city or anywhere in a tri-state area. This is my point of view of how I look at it and what should be done to correct as far as sanitary, as far as to be clean, as far as to change the blades for each customer when you shave the neck. Uh, a lot of you wear gloves, which is a good thing, but a lot of you cannot wear gloves because of a poor blood circulation. Or some of you have skin problems. You cannot wear gloves more than an hour. So those are the things that you have to look for if you are a customer. Make sure that the barber washes his hands after each customer. That's the number one thing. Number two, if a barber uses a comb from another barber, that he, I mean, from another customer that used the comb before, it's fine. If the sanitary barbicide is changed every day, that's how it's supposed to be. The barbicide is supposed to be clean. It's not supposed to have any residue on the bottom of the water, which like is this one. This is a no-no. It has to be clean. Now, when a barber uses buzzer, he has to use a spray disinfectant in front of you. Each blade that he puts on in your hair, it has to be sanitized. That's number three. Number four, guys, if you see a towel hanging by the chair somewhere and it's all full of hair and dust and barber takes it and tries to wipe your neck off it's a no-no you can get syphilis through the towel a lot of you know that so there's no towel allowed on the chair or by the station brushes Brushes has to be used only to clean your tools, not your neck. If you want to clean your neck, you have to use your PST towels or your neck strips. Or you use the towel and you put it in the laundromat, you wash it. That's number one. Now we're going to show you how to put the cape so the cape doesn't touch your skin and your neck. It's also an important factor because unfortunately we use our capes over and over and over. So make sure the barber puts the paper towel on your neck. As far as the blades, when a barber takes out the razor, you guys should see that he changes the blade in front of you. Thank God now we have individual blades for each customer. They're not that expensive. They used to be expensive but not anymore they change the blade in front of you and before they shave even the blade is new they gotta sanitize it in the barber side then they do the shave those are the things that you should look for and for some of you that been loyal customer to your barbers i love loyal customers we appreciate your loyalty but this thing i wanted to bring out for one big reason. About two months ago, a close friend of mine got diagnosed, diagnosed of hepatitis C. And when they did the investigation, it ended up to be from the barbershop. The guy cut his ear while he was shaving, outlining his ear. He cut his ear, the blade was old. I guess somebody previously had the hepatitis C. So the guy got it. Guys, share this information to all the barbers Let's keep up the good work. I always say this is not just a vocation, it's artistry. Let's, you know, keep
keep up the good work. Let's 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 educate one another and be clean. That's the most important thing, guys. God bless you. We'll see you next time.